something about the idea of returning home, of a longing for home that contains pain and violence, seems to me to be the common experience of immigrants everywhere, including my father. And of course the themes for this season is uh, banning and censorship. In our country, we don't have the kind of terrifying history that you find in Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union or Iran today in terms of bannings of music, but we do have a history of it, especially targeted against more popular forms like blues, jazz, hip hop. What really is happening to me and I think to many is um, the silencing of these individuals and their their experience and their story and their life and their truth, really. What we want to do as Harris County Public Library, we want to provide people with the opportunity to have choice, to be able to read what they want. And the wonderful thing about books is that you can either can see a reflection of yourself in those books in terms of those experiences and those stories, or you can see a window into other people's lives. The fear of, of something is so acute that you have to destroy it so that no one else can read it says more about the person doing that action than the book itself. Uh, we're in this era of what I like to these days call um, incandescent cynicism. <laughs> um, let me explain. So imagine that you have social media, you have the basic governance mechanisms of democracy in crisis, and then on top of that you have this sort of strange gap between critical thinking being banned for small critical errors in judgment. Here we are in the 21st century where we're having a conversation between traditional instruments and software, digital media. Just as the Mekong is a complex river, it's, uh, it's a river that traverses many different lands and many different people, and has a complex and beautiful, but also a devastatingly dangerous history. I always want to create a platform through music to not only me, but also other artists to share their voices, and so I I thought of Mekong as something that already connects us in our day in, day out life. Then I want to bring it on stage. And the river is the threat to weave all us together. Our mission is to connect communities and cultures through globally inspired music. But I think even more apropos of this discussion is our vision, which is to create cultural harmony through musical exploration. You guys have such an incredibly life-affirming uh, mission. I just want to say it's a real honor and pleasure to work with you, so thank you. Uh, yeah.